This week, we're talking about on-premises DLP and some capabilities around that that we can set up, including some new features that are coming to endpoint DLP for stub files. So we're over here in the compliance portal. Let's go ahead and create a custom policy specifically for on-premises DLP. So we'll just give it a, a dummy name for a second. Here, we'll untick all of the other services that we're not interested in at the moment, just on-premises repositories. Here, we can include and exclude uh, different repositories that we choose. Remember, this is using the AIP scanner in order to do this. And if we go in and create a new rule, let's just call it test for a second. And these are the conditions that specifically work for on-premises DLP. So I can go in there and choose things like sensitive information types or sensitivity labels I want to pick up. File extensions. So here I could put in my file extensions or document properties that I want to pick up. So properties within the document. We've got the same thing for exceptions. And then once we've picked up the type of items we want to choose, then we can select whether we want to restrict access or block people from accessing those files. We can also set permissions here as well. And also we can move the file to a quarantine folder of our choice, but also use a stub file or leave a stub file in place of it, telling the end user, hey, this file has been moved due to these conditions. The reasons for showing you this is there's new capabilities that's coming. This is public preview today that allows you to do the same thing at the endpoint. So we can specify a folder path where files are going to be moved to, but then we can replace that file with a stub file or a text file with customized text. So the end user knows that the file has been removed for obvious reasons and it hasn't just disappeared out of this site. For more information, you can follow the link below. That's it for this week and we'll see you again next time.